Hey guys, Peter here, and today I have a brand new box. Uh, this is my first time getting this box, uh, but this is Grapple Box. So, uh, Grapple Box I think is only led by one person, which is insane for anyone to do a box. Uh, it is not a regular box. I think they usually go either bi-monthly or they go quarterly. Um, and instead of a subscription rate, you buy each box individually as you'd like it. Uh, so it's not a continuous charge. This box is about $52 shipped, so it is a little bit higher end. But from what I've seen from other people and other uh, unboxings and pictures, this box typically tends to have a lot of high value items and also tends to have licensed WWE shirts, which is insane. Uh, especially for a company that's a little bit on a smaller end. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this box and see what we got this month. I believe the theme is WrestleMania Legends and Moments. And I think it includes a WrestleMania Elite figure. But without further ado, let's get into the box. Okay. So the first item we have. That's pretty cool. We have a uh, Macho King basic figure. This is from Series 76. As you can see on the back, we have the rest of the line, which includes AJ, Sammy, Cena, and The Rock, along with Dolph. Uh, box conditions, pretty solid. Um... You know, a little bit of couple creases, but nothing too major. I know for some people who are figure collectors who like to have their cards uh, mock, it's a little bit of a big deal. Uh, so there is a little bit of a bend right there. But as a whole, not bad condition. Um, for basic figures, typically if you go to like Walmart or any other big box retailer, these roughly go for about $10. So the cool thing with this is that they actually had like a poll for the box where you could vote what wrestler you wanted to see appear. And I think Macho Man did win that by a pretty wide margin. So in this, I guess his representation is the basic figure. Um, typically Macho Man figures don't last until they go on the clearance. Although it is an older series, I still feel okay with giving this $10. I think this is the Elite. Yes, it is. So we do have an Elite from the WrestleMania line. Uh, this is John Cena. Probably not the first choice I would make for the Elite series. Uh, this WrestleMania series includes Brutus Beefcake, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton. I think out of all of these, the only two I'd probably really be interested in is Orton and Owens. Just not really a Beefcake or Cena fan. Um, the box for this did arrive pretty dinged up. Um, so the front of it has some creases on the front, right there and there. Uh, the side has some creasing on it, and then um, some creasing on that side as well. Uh, again, I know for some people, not a big deal at all. Some people are unbox, uh, are into unboxing their figures. So for some, isn't a big deal whatsoever. For others, they are into collecting mock, so that could be a big deal. Um, typically, I think the WrestleMania elites, and just elites in general, again, if I'm going for larger retail stores, usually go for 20 bucks. So I feel okay with giving these 20 uh, they might crash in price, because typically the special edition figures, aside from the SummerSlam ones last year, usually last well into the season and usually go on clearance. Uh, but still, given that this is a brand new set that just pr pretty much released, I would say probably about two or three weeks ago at retail, uh, I feel okay with still giving this 20 bucks. Not my first choice, but an elite figure is a great inclusion. Uh, again. My normal issue with Elite figures is, unless you get a figure that you're interested in personally, usually, or one that you are wanting to collect, um, usually even though it is a higher end value item, uh, the value could be worth nothing to you if it's something that you're not personally interested in. But still, $20, I'll keep it at that price, um, and it is cool to get an updated line for that. Okay, so let's see what else we have in this. Looks like we have a t-shirt. Okay, I think... Yes, it is. Okay, this is awesome. Alright, so I actually don't have this shirt, either the reprint or uh, the original. But this is a Stone Cold Austin 316 shirt with the uh, snake. Or the snake skull. Uh, this is a reprint from the 90s shirt that they had. But I think that's a sick shirt. Uh, nice to not get like an Austin 316 shirt, even though it is iconic. Uh, I feel like if you are just a wrestling fan, that's pretty much a shirt that's gonna be in al almost everyone's closet. So 
getting a shirt that is not that one, especially an Austin shirt, which makes perfect sense for Mania, is great. Uh, this is a licensed product, so we have the holographic sticker there, and then we also have the little print in the tag there as well. Um, so, because typically I only give light or exclusive shirts 12 bucks, but because this is a licensed WWE shirt, um, I feel good with giving it 10. I'll probably do about 10 to 12, so let's cut it in the middle and say 11. Um, again, if you are smart about buying items, you can probably find licensed WWE shirts for 10 bucks if you know how to look around. Um, otherwise, if you want to, you could give this $20. Again, for my personal pricing, because it is licensed, which is awesome, uh, I'm going to give that $11 today. Uh, but awesome inclusion for the shirt, and again, makes perfect sense, and I'm glad that it is a little bit more of an obscure Austin shirt. All right, let's see if we have anything else. Yes, we do. Okay, so we do have an autograph in this box. Yeah, even though it doesn't have any like protective covering or anything over it, it still came in pretty good condition. So the autograph we have is of King Kong Bundy. Not my first choice for an autograph in general, but it does fit with the WrestleMania theme. Uh, of course, King Kong Bundy fought Hulk Hogan in a steel cage at WrestleMania 2. Uh, I think that's the only WrestleMania that they did at three different locations during the actual show. And for good reason, because it did not go well. I mean, you're essentially paying probably WrestleMania ticket fees to only see like two or three matches. And then the rest of it, I think, is on closed circuit TV. So not the best thing for you to do. Uh, but King Kong Bundy was a really cool wrestler back in the day. Of course, he was someone that was fed to eventually put Hulk Hogan over. Um, not like the biggest superstar back then, but still a pretty prominent wrestler in the 80s. Uh, given that he's not on huge level status, such as like a Hogan um, or, you know, a Savage or a Steamboat or a Ric Flair or Bret Hart or anything like that, um, I'm personally just going to give that $15. I'm not sure exactly how much King Kong Bundy charges on the autograph circuit, but I would say $15 is probably a pretty safe bet if you're looking to hunt for an autograph. Okay, with that, that is our box. Uh, so let's do some final pricing and reveal. So in the grapple box, I believe this is number six, you would be getting a Macho King basic figure. Again, 10 bucks. The WWE WrestleMania Elite of John Cena. I'm not sure if everyone got a different Elite or if everyone got Cena. I know in the past, the one really cool thing about grapple box is that I've seen in the past that they tried to get everyone the same Elite and typically it's the most in-demand Elite as well. I, for this line, I'd personally say the Orton Elite, I think, is the most uh, most sought after right now. It's going for a really high price on the aftermarket for some reason. Um, so I wouldn't say Cena's in that category for at least this set and most sets, really. But still, um, it is really cool that Grapplebox tends to give you at least uh, elites that are all the same, rather than like that wrestling club or other boxes that give you elites uh, which they give you different ones from the set and you have a chance of getting kind of a less desirable one. Uh, but still, great to see Elite. It is a really good, strong, uh, high ticket item. We also got a Stone Cold shirt. You could give it 20 bucks because that's about average price if you go to like an indie show, about 15 to 20 bucks typically. But if you are a person that hunts around for deals, you can find licensed WWE and New Japan shirts uh, and other shirts for wrestling as well for pretty much about 10 bucks. Uh, I am going to get it 11 though because it is a licensed shirt uh, and bonus points that it's not just the traditional Austin 316 shirt uh, and just an Austin shirt in general. I think it's a really cool shirt. And finally we got an autograph from a Wrestlemania headliner, technically, uh, of King Kong Bundy. Um, again, not my first choice for an autograph. Uh, I also do kind of wish it was in silver ink so it stood out rather than the black because it's kind of hard to see. Uh, but still, uh, someone that's definitely part of WrestleMania history. Uh, again, I'm going to give it 15. I'm not entirely sure how much Bundy charges on the uh, autograph circuit, but I would only feel good probably giving this about 15 bucks. Uh, so at this point, I'm getting about $56 in value, roughly. Again, depending on how you want to value other things and depending on where you want to value the t-shirt. Uh, so again, 56 bucks. This sh box costs about 52 I personally feel as though something is missing from the box. Um, I, I 
I don't think there literally is, but it just feels like uh, if you had one more item like a pin or uh, maybe like a mug or, or something in that realm, uh, you could definitely have the value up higher and get it to about the $10 value, which is what you ideally want for a box that's going to be 52 bucks, which for some and for most is, is a pretty high-end wrestling box. Uh, but that said, the items we got are great. I think getting a basic figure and a, an elite figure, especially for a modern set, awesome. Especially when the basic figure is one, you know, one that isn't commonly on clearance. Uh, the shirt being a licensed WWE shirt is great. And also being an untraditional design, uh, one that you know I don't think a ton of people are going to have. And also just an Austin shirt in general is awesome. Uh, and getting an autograph is great. Uh, I think, again, if, if they would have either had another item or a higher end autograph, I think it definitely would have helped this box's value. Uh, but as a whole, given the fact that I think they're either a bi-monthly or quarterly box, I think a lot of things are a little more difficult for them to do. That said, all in all, uh, because of the items, I'm going to be giving this about a 3.75. Again, for getting only about a $4 extra value, that's what's kind of hindering it from me rating it higher. But I do think you do get great items in this box. Uh, you know, I think pretty solid autograph, an elite, a basic, and a licensed WWE shirt is great. If they just had one more item in this box, I think it would have elevated it that much further for me to maybe, you know, again, if you had like a pin in here, maybe like a 4, 4.5 probably, or a, a more higher end autograph like Ric Flair or Bret Hart or something of that end. I think that definitely would have elevated it further for me. If you want to check out this box, I am going to be putting information down below uh, that includes a link to their store as well as pricing information in general. Uh, as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I have some new unboxings coming up in the near future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with a brand new unboxing.